I'll get straight into it. There are four biomes inside the Guiding Lands, the Ancient Forest, the Wild Spire Waste, the Coral Highlands and the Rotten Vale. They have ores and bones and they're different in each biome. You notice there's four types of each of ascending rarity. What happens is these nodes each have three levels, a level one, a level two and a level three. At level one, you get the first, the lowest rarity is the common and this will drop occasionally as a rare drop. When you level it up to two, you'll get this is the common drop and this is the rare drop. And when you level it up to three, you'll get this is the common drop and this is the rare drop. All of the different node types for each biome are leveled separately. And the idea is you keep raising them up and once the bar maxes out, it'll reset back to the start and you'll start all over again. You need all of these items to, to, uh, to augment stuff. Uh, I've produced a map that shows all of the mining nodes that I was able to find and all of the gathering nodes for bones that I was able to find. Uh, and we'll follow that along as I do some loops. Generally the idea is you grab yourself a gathering set. So for example, this is my one. Uh, the most important skill is Geologist level 3 for the extra gathering from bones and mining outcrops. Uh, master gatherer is very important too. The rest are all up to you. I like to go for stamina skills, I like stealth and intimidator for obvious reasons, I take some stamina skills to run as I was saying. Paralysis resistance is resistance for Vespoids, you, you gotta you pick your own gathering say it's fine. You head out into the guiding lands and you, uh, you start looping around mining. Essentially the way it works is, uh, and hopefully I've got gameplay of me just looping around. Each biome has two areas where it spawns these in. These seem to be fixed as far as I can tell. As you've hopefully seen from the map, for the Ancient Forest, these are areas 6 and 7. For the Rotten Vale, it's 12 and 13. For the Wild Spire Waste, it's 8 and 9, which is just the two big desert areas. And for the Coral Highlands, it's 10 and 11. So basically areas 7 through 13. What I do is I usually loop through these two areas. So I'll run through 6 and then run through 7 and then back to 6 and then up through 7 and then back to 6, so on and so forth. And I'll hit all of the mining nodes and I'll see if they've spawned and I'll mine them and if not, I'll keep going. And I just repeat that uh, for whichever materials I need. And it's really that simple. As far as other miscellaneous things go, uh, take a ghillie mantle in case you need it, bring dung bombs for dung wave monsters. Once you level up your bar to full, you will reset the bar, so once you've gotten to third level of, of, a, of a mining node or of a gathering pile, what will happen is your bar will reset back to level 1, and in the process it will summon one gathering node that guarantees you the rarest drop. You'll see a little marker on the screen that says a huge pile of bones has appeared. And this tends to just replace one of the pre-existing mining nodes, or bone piles. Don't forget to eat for feline harvester too. I should have mentioned that a long time ago. Feline harvester lowers the time between these points respawning. I haven't confirmed that it plays with these, but in what little testing I have done, anecdotally it does seem like it makes a pretty substantial difference. And that's it. You just loop, you pick You pick which one you're going for materials for. If it's the Coral Highlands, you pick the Coral Highlands, etc, etc. And you just loop through the two areas, hitting all the mining nodes uh, over and over again. These things spawn based on proximity, so they won't respawn if you're too close to them, as far as I can tell. Or at least they won't despawn until you're far away from them. So you do have to be moving, you can't just stand by one mining point and just wait. And that's it really. In the footage playing, I'm showing you where each mining node is. Uh, it cor each one corresponds to one point on the map. I'm showing with the with the claw. And also hopefully I'm drawing a trail on the map, but I don't know if I'm willing to put in that effort. We'll see. And yeah, good luck. Oh, and sup? <laughs>